Okay, so stage one of rotator cuff rehabilitation, I define as weeks zero to two from surgery. And during that time, I'd like you to be in the sling at all times, coming out occasionally for gentle passive range of motion exercises of the shoulder, just what is needed for hygiene and getting into and out of clothing. The rest of the time, it should just be left in the sling. And while you're in the sling, moving your fingers, moving your wrist, rotating your palm up and down, and then when you're out of the sling, letting your elbow go straight and bent. If following rotator cuff repair surgery, you may find yourself in a sling that looks a little bit like this. The purpose of this sling is to take tension off of the rotator cuff repair. This is called a shoulder abduction sling. And there's a few different varieties that are very similar. Some have a pillow like this one does, some have a metal bar. And the, the purpose of the pillow is to bring your elbow a little bit away from the midline. What the rotator cuff tries to do is bring your arm out to the side. And so holding it there passively takes tension off of the repair on the inside. And it's a little scary to look at, but it's, it's basically just a sling with a special pillow that holds it in position. This strap that goes around your midsection just holds the, the pillow in place. For the first couple weeks after surgery, I want you to just leave it in this sling and really do as little as possible. It's okay to move your fingers. You can squeeze the hand grip. Sometimes there's a little ball that you could squeeze. That helps to avoid swelling and it keeps your fingers supple. We do want you to come out of the sling occasionally to work on some range of motion. The way you do that is you're gonna move the Velcro off to the side just like this, and then you would help your arm to come out. Now we don't want you to actively move your shoulder right away, but you could help it and just come out like this, helping it to move. And a very simple thing to do would be to lean forward and that lets your elbow go straight. And you could help it to bend back and forth. You could rotate your palm up and down. You could move your wrist back and forth and your fingers. What we do not want you to do is start moving your shoulder around actively. That is not appropriate for the first stage of rotator cuff rehabilitation, but just simply helping it to move, having gravity take some of the stress off it, and always controlling it with your other arm. The goal here is that the muscles around your shoulder are relaxed at all times. When you're done working on that gentle range of motion exercise, you would then put it back in the sling. So to get it back into the sling, you would just help it back up, and then help with your other arm to position this back in place, just like this, so that you're not actively moving your shoulder around. The Velcro straps go back in place, and you're back in business. Times that you would want to remove this sling would be, for example, to get dressed, or to shower and wash underneath your armpit. When you're out of the sling, if your arm is just dangling by your side and you slowly lean forward, letting gravity pull your arm down to the ground, that is basically the same thing as lifting your arm up to 90 degrees. And it's just using gravity to help you. You could take your other arm and help it to move a little bit more. And that's all you really need to do. Then it would go back into the sling. All right, so the first two weeks after rotator cuff rehabilitation, I really don't recommend doing anything more than what we just discussed. Leave it in the sling at all times, and then come out a couple times a day to work on finger, wrist, and elbow range of motion exercises, really minimizing what you do with your shoulder, except for a little pendulum to help to get dressed, putting on shirt, or to wash underneath your armpit, and the rest of the time setting right back into the sling.